Hey Corn Bears, Mr. Cameron here again with Mr. Bogiano. We are going to show you a game that's working on our underhand throwing skills and it's called underhand tic-tac-toe. You are going to need a little bit of equipment for this game, but like we always say, you can get creative, find what works for you, and you can do this in your driveway, you can do this in your backyard, somewhere where you have a little bit of space, okay? So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need to create your tic-tac-toe board. We use four jump ropes. We lay two going one direction, two going the other direction, so that we created a tic-tac-toe board. I will include um, what a tic-tac board looks like, tic-tac-toe board, what it looks like, in case you forgot. Um, but pretty much it's just two lines going one way, two going the other way. All right? The other thing you're going to need for this game are bean bags, balls, stuffed animals, something that you can throw underhand towards the tic-tac-toe board. For our example today, I'm going to be throwing blue bean bags. Mr. Bogiano is going to be throwing red bean bags. If you use a ball, it might be a little bit harder for the ball to stay in the tic-tac-toe board. So I'm going to describe to you at the end of this video how it's going to work if you use a ball rather than a bean bag. But pretty much what you're going to do is you're going to take turns back and forth, back and forth between you and the person you're competing against underhand throwing your objects, trying to make them land in the different places on the tic-tac-toe board. Just like in regular tic-tac-toe, you are trying to get three in a row, either going across, up and down, or on a diagonal. The first person who is able to do that is the winner for that round. If you play an entire game and nobody is able to get a three in a row at tic-tac-toe, just call that a cat game or a tie and just restart and do it again, okay? So, I'm going to put my mask on, hop over here next to Mr. Bogiano, and we're going to give this game a chance. Mr. Bogiano would be able to do is he can throw his last bean bag or he can walk around, pick that one up, and he can bring it back and do that one again. That one's off the board right now. Alright, so I don't know how well you can see this, but the blue bean bags, the ones I was throwing, I got one on this side, one in the middle, and then one on this side, so I actually got three in a row first on that game, so that would be one point for me. We could clean up the beanbags, we could do it again. Now I do want to tell you how it's gonna work if you are playing with a tennis ball or another ball because sometimes when you throw a ball, it will bounce into a spot and then it will kind of roll away or bounce away. So if you're playing with a ball, whichever spot the ball hits first is where you can place your ball. Mr. Bogiano is gonna grab me a tennis ball for an example. So let's say I were back there underhand throwing just like I was with the beanbag. And let's say when I throw my tennis ball, it bounces in the middle, and then it keeps bouncing and rolls all the way over there, okay? That wouldn't really be fair for the person throwing. So that person would be able to place their ball in the middle because that's where the ball landed first. I hope that makes sense to you. Um, so if you don't have beanbags or something that will land softly and stay, you have a ball or something that will roll away, just make sure you're taking that into consideration, okay? Make sure you're using those correct underhand throwing skills, make sure we're using good sportsmanship, and have fun. 